OPC Expert can automatically transfer data between two OPC servers. In this video, we show how to set up automatic data transfer. Of course, OPC Expert does not require installation and does not change Windows registry. So you can try the software without changing your computer settings. First, we're going to transfer data between two OPC Classic DA servers. When bridging, it is always helpful to view two browse trees. Data transfer also works over the network, but this video keeps communication simple. With these two trees, we first find the items we need. Then drag the source item and drop on the destination item. In this case, OPC Expert noticed these items have a different data type and warns us. We know what we're doing, so let's just click OK. The setup is done, so we tell OPC Expert to start. As OPC Expert connects to the two OPC servers, it shows their connection status. The data transfer already started and we can see the results. In this case, we're transferring data between two OPC DA servers. OPC Expert writes information on data change, but you can see there's a delay in the data update. This is due to OPC update rates and is only a visual anomaly. Now, let's transfer information from an OPC DA server to an OPC UA server. In the left-hand tree, let's connect to an OPC UA server. Notice OPC Expert connects to OPC DA and UA servers just as easily. We need to find the location of our destination items. Then we drag from the source and drop on the destination. Since bridging is already working, we just need to tell OPC Expert to publish the change. Again, OPC Expert initiates communication and dynamically shows updates. Remember, item updates don't necessarily appear immediately, as we said earlier. Now, let's transfer information between two OPC UA servers. We find our source item in the left-hand tree. Then, we find our destination item in the right-hand tree. In OPC Expert, you can drag from the right and drop on the left, or you can drag from the left and drop on the right. You can even do everything in one tree. So, this should already look familiar. Now, let's drag from the source and drop on the destination. This time, we create three bridges. If you want to create many bridges, you should consider configuring with Excel, and we show this in another video. After creating the bridges, we publish our change. Again, OPC Expert initiates communication and dynamically shows updates. Remember, item updates don't necessarily appear immediately, as we said earlier. Finally, let's transfer information from OPC UA to OPC DA. We find our source in the right-hand tree. Users can connect to OPC UA and DA servers interchangeably. OPC Expert can connect to all compliant OPC servers. Then, we find our destination in the left-hand tree. We've seen this before, so this should already look familiar. Now, let's drag from the source and drop on the destination. OPC Expert warns us when item data types are different. After creating the bridge, we publish our change. Again, OPC Expert initiates communication and dynamically shows updates. Remember, item updates don't necessarily appear immediately as we said earlier. In this tutorial, we used OPC Expert to transfer real-time data between OPC servers. We transfer data from OPC DA to OPC DA. Then we send data from OPC DA to UA. We also did OPC UA to UA. Finally, we read from OPC UA and wrote to DA. 
All of this was done in a single application. Two other important videos show how to set up OPC Expert as a Windows service and how to handle mass configuration using Excel. OPC Expert is easy to use and is a favorite tool in process control and automation. Remember, OPC Expert does not require installation and does not change Windows registry. So you can download this demo without changing your computer settings at all. Download OPC Expert and give it a try yourself.